Hi everyone, Vincent here again and this is another video and you can see here this is also a very different video than I'm used to. This is the Hubshan X4 Desire Pro. It's a drone, the exact model is H216A. This is not actually a professional grade drone but just a toy drone. But what's good about this is that it does have GPS module built in. It also supports live streaming via the real-time streaming of the um, cameras as well as it supports functional waypoints and follow me so all are GPS function at the sides here you can see that the maximum distance you can control this drone is about 50 meters and has a battery of 750 milliampere it's lipo and has a maximum flight time of 12 minutes so that's quite good it also supports micro SD that's for the camera as well as here at the bottom portion iOS or later devices so that you can connect to your smartphone and control this phone via you can choose your smartphone or you can choose the controller so let's proceed now to the unboxing so this is the drone itself so you can see here so let's put that bit so the Desire X4 it's doesn't really look that big it's actually quite small with rather long propellers you can see it here the propellers are actually almost half this the body of the drone itself and it's actually brushed drones i think it's not brushless and you can see at the bottom portion that's the battery port as well as the 750 milliampere lipo battery also in terms of the construction here it's plastic so I should be careful when flying this thing okay in terms of yep it's plastic so I should be careful with the arms especially here the smaller arms here if I bump this or crash this too hard probably this will break and you do have ventilation ports at the bottom here as well as the slots for your micro SD for the camera and at the front side here you can see that's the 720p HD camera according to the box and what are other accessories do you get here so this are prop guards four prop guards they're made of plastic that's the you get four additional propellers the same size so in case you crash or break one off and here you do have a screwdriver as well as ad additional screws underneath that what else manual well comprehensive manual and it's in English so that's good do you have a warning here what is this warning for what okay and lastly the controller you can see here the controller actually looks like an Xbox controller I actually have one like this before and it's it's called the IPEGA wireless controller but it's for smartphones and it's powered by oh my god four AAA batteries this kind of batteries are quite expensive anyway I don't have it lying around right now so I'll just control the drone via the smartphone in terms of the tactile feel quite good you do have here I think this is for landing automatic landing return to home power and here this is for automatic takeoff and in terms of the throttle as well as the rudder at the top portion you can see it here I think that is for the cameras um, taking photos as well as taking videos and also at the sides here I don't know what that is what the heck is the pro process of this arrow next when you open that you can actually control it here that's the power indicator as well as Bluetooth 
So you can control this Bluetooth. What's the purpose of the Bluetooth? So let's take a look at the drone. It's actually, what time is it? 3 o'clock a.m. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the batteries right now. So you can probably hear that annoying sound. I think that's coming from the drone itself. So here you do have LED indicators at the top, blue and orange at the bottom portion. So let me just remove this because this is so annoying. According to the manual, it says here that you do have the QR code here. That's for iOS and that's for Android. And you have to connect this via your smartphone, the Wi-Fi, so that you can control your smart your drone via your Wi-Fi. But first you have to calibrate it. You do this calibration just by doing this. Um your drone in that position clockwise I'm not really sure how many times you have to do this but most of it is I think three times and now you do this like that oops like that and three times one two three okay next you actually have to do according to the manual also you have to do uh, two compass calibration as well as GPS calibration um, when you connect your drone to the, your transmitter. Anyway, when you use the QR code, you can download this. This is actually the firmware, sorry, the software or app you can use. And I haven't connected this to the phone yet, so let me connect it first. So that's that's whistle sound now <laughs> annoying whistle sound so sorry for that but I had no choice apparently it doesn't stop connect to the Wi-Fi yes so you actually have to calibrate okay, here so it does instruct you to calibrate the drone like this to three and now the top one two three four how many times okay so bound aircraft to current device, yes, okay. So apparently, you need, the system need to grab the GPS information around you. So, next. Okay, so GPS is not good enough, of course, because I am indoors. So I'm going to test that later on. What the heck? Okay, so let's test the camera. So you can see here that it says weak GPS so that's not really surprising because I'm indoors in terms of the camera quality it is 720p and I'm actually doing this video at night right now and you can clearly see here that the quality is actually quite decent not bad and in terms of the setting let's take a look at here um, on the top portion you do have OSD data so you have information for altitude, distance, speed, and here, this is for the camera. I did not uh, plug in yet uh, key, um, micro SD, so I could not save yet. So here, this is for GPS, waypoint mode, uh, follow me mode as well as orbit. And next, this is for the controller. If you disable this, you grant all the controls to your transmitter if you turn this on you can control the phone the drone <laughs> via your phone and here I think this is return to home and here are you sure you want to take off wait 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 
<laughs> I'm gonna hold the drone first. Yes, I'm going to take off. Of course, with GPS. So this is... Oh, it's falling up. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but I could not fly this here. Because... I'm sorry, but I could not fly this inside because you can see in this house there's a lot of glass and maybe I will crash in it and break something in here. So Also, when you look at the transmitter here at the topmost portion, so you does have GPS, so it's not really that accurate just yet because I'm inside the house and probably I can get better GPS signal outside. The flight test will be on another video as probably my maiden flight and overall I would say on my first impression here that this drone is actually quite exciting and probably what got me excited the most is the GPS module here and GPS flight mode. Also it does have a pretty good 720p camera here so I'm interested on the quality and taking aerial photos.